Africa matters because the African Development Bank has launched the 2020 edition of its African Economic Outlook report on Thursday. The team for this year's report is developing Africa's workforce for the future. The annual publication highlights economic prospects and projections for the continent for the, each of the 54 countries. Let's have more details of that in this report. During the launch of the 2020 Africa Economic Outlook report, the Africa Development Bank president said that the report would provide short and medium term forecast on major economic indicators in Africa, such as growth, poverty and employment. The growth rate varies greatly among several African countries. In Cote d'Ivoire, the government has made a great effort because the growth rate is 7.4%. But there are other African countries with very low growth rates. It is therefore necessary to work on regional integration so that all African countries can participate in the growth of the continent. The report also flagged the need for reforms in the education sector so as to boost capacity among youth seeking employment. Africa has to invest more in human capital. That means we have to do more for education, we have to do more for skills, so our young people can have the capacity to be able to get jobs. And we also have to look that we do what Africa 2063, and we have to follow the guidelines there so that all of our countries can do better. The lowest and the highest poverty rates Africa were not revealed at this meeting. However, the Africa Development Bank president emphasized that Africa's economic outlook continues to improve. The croissant is very important. Growth is indeed something very important, but in reality, the population cannot feed off the GDP. It is therefore necessary to increase the number of people who have access to medical care, education, different financing, employment, etc. So in other words, African governments must work to ensure that growth goes hand in hand with improving the quality of life of the population. If we have to attain Objective 2030 of the UN, if we have to attain uh, the AU's Agenda of 2063, the four key areas that we have to focus on, we have to finance African female-owned businesses, we also have to invest in the digital space because the internet is worth in our hands, depends on how we use it. You know, we have to digitalize our economies, our educational system, digitalize, you know, the financial, um, the financial sector, and then we also have to invest in infrastructure. We cannot be talking on improving education when we don't have proper school setups. We don't have uh, viable teachers that can actually transmit the skills to the Africa's workforce that we want to prepare against 2030. And then the last thing is we need political stability in order for us to check all these boxes. Every year, about 12 million young graduates leave African universities with no job prospects. To address this, the Africa Development Bank has launched an employment promotion initiative to support the creation of 25 million jobs over the next 10 years in Africa. Well, we hope that move there from the African Development Bank would have a great impact on the African continent.